Hello YouTube fans, this is The Scar Clown. I am talking about this video right here. I wanted to do this video for, um, since I first saw it lately. Um, this was uploaded two weeks ago, but um, I put this link in the description box if you want to see it. Um, I'm going to expose this woman. Um, yes, she's an orc, so she, she could be a witch. Uh, <laughs> but uh, let's get started. This is us. She literally just told us that we're, ho we're, we're we're fucking dragons, man. She literally just said that Dan and Aki were dragons. She literally just said that. And they're the original dragon. And we're the original fucking dragon. <laughs> you know? So far, she's saying things. I'm like, okay, okay. But also, gray, gray alien? Like, come on, man. Like, that's hilarious. Uh, woman. Okay, I'll say this. We, as carbon-based people, made the planet. We made the God planet. Because where were we going to go? Where were we going to go as a civilization? So we made it. Don't listen to this woman that has to say. I'm going to talk. But evolving primates were deliberately kept ignorant of the true bigger picture. Government insiders who caught on to what is really happening... They might be running scared. These primates are not the Adonaki or not carbon-based people. People that are not carbon-based are literally from a different animal. Either a pig, a monkey, a bull, a goat, etc. You know, serpents. Oh, yes, they're a type of animal, but they're not an animal. They're a cosmic bead. They're a cosmic animal, basically. Which is different from all the animals that are running around in this um planet. Because we were in charge, bitch. We made it. We made it, and then in turn, we put other people to surround themselves by it, basically. Then, what we started doing is experimenting, which was one of the things we were not supposed to do. We experimented. We made, we made Caucasian people. We made, we made, um, felines. We made Dracos. We made AI. We was not supposed to make those things at all, but we broke those laws. And that's why we fell. And yes, there were other beings that looked Caucasian that came down and started fucking shit up. That's why, that's why there's some white people that have ancestors that are dark-skinned. And might not be white. It's just, again, it's their DNA or their soul. Going back, it could be a feline, too. You know? Because think about this. What happens if a Sumerian and a Naki goes with a Caucasian person when they made them back then because they were all beautiful and shit, right? They would have mated. That kid would have had a baby. Uh, they would have had a baby. That is obviously an Anunnaki. And then their children would be it. Then their children and their children. Does it get less and less? I don't know. Probably doesn't. Probably it does. I don't know. It's the universe, not me. Because <laughs> they have carbon in them. If they have carbon, that they're good. If they don't, then obviously they cease to exist eventually. That's what's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Let's keep going. That name. At this point, if you don't know what quad means, automatically, yes, it can mean some type of, you know, your quad of your of your knee, but that tells you it, it has four parts of that area, <laughs> basically. Most people might be like, I don't think so. There's a wall for a reason, but I'm not talking about feet. Quad means four. No shit. These uh, mantis are higher than your orcs. I'm sorry. You you are. But we're above them in technology. We're so above them in technology. It's fucking ridiculous. Oh, God. It's because we started everything. We fucking started everything. We literally started everything. I'm dead serious. <laughs> 
so-called black people and so-called Hispanic people literally started everything, started civilization, started creation, started everything that you can literally think of, a, a car, a fucking PlayStation. We created every fucking thing. Nothing's new under the sun. We had this shit ancient times a long time ago. Then all of that shit fell, obviously. Then these government people realize oh we can actually use what they made to our benefit and then but inferior basically you know because it's not helping the planet basically you're supposed to make technology to help the planet to help it grow to plant that seed obviously not to make not to make nature technology no to work with nature and nature works with technology it has to be a balance you can't have both without the other basically they realize that not to say without without technology nothing won't be wrong it's just that we're so high in the realm of our minds basically that we can literally make it in front of us that's how we are and we're going to do that we're going back to that very soon we're going back to that this month all right genetically create the fact that we made caucasian people is hilarious to be quite honest because we made you first of all Originally, we made you to literally mine for gold. They told us we were mining for gold. Bullshit, bitch. It was you that was mining for gold. We were at the sun, freaking like, you know, planting the fucking garden and shit. That's what we were doing. Why do you think why do you think some black people and Hispanic people do that? Some Hispanic people still do that. My grandparents still do that shit. Because that's what you're supposed to do. I've learned that all my life. And it's always good to have that shit in the, in the backyard. I can't have it because I live in a fucking apartment. Fucking. But my grandparents, they, they, have, they, they, they have their own little shit. So I know, why, I know where I'm going to plant my seeds at. I have the seeds. I got them prepared. They're already ready. I've been stacking those seeds up, man. It all of the dangerous trinoloids. Mr. President, in their technology, which is at least a thousand years more advanced than ours, the Tronoloids have different materials to work with. Some of their materials are not found on Earth. Maybe they have more than 104 elements that are different than ours. Very strange materials. These aliens can imitate humans. They can look like blonde humans. And they are not blonde, they are ugly looking insects. They can imitate looking like humans. So which blonde Nordics might be camouflaged for insect tronoloids that President Reagan was told were actually dangerous insects? It's funny. Because every time I hear about Reagan, it's always a reptilian, a reptilian disguised as Reagan. So what is it? Is it a reptilian or is it fucking mantises? Because they both li are here. They both are trying to hate on carbon-based people. And you ca Caucasian people are like in the middle of it. Some of you, bad or ain't good. Literally. That's the thing. If your founding fathers wasn't here, it would just be literally, literally reptiles and... Literally reptiles and insects. That's literally where it'll be because we're reptiles too, in a way. Serpents, actually. Holy serpents. We're holy serpents. We're the original dragon. That's why they're so scared. We can literally look. Those mantises are so in low, low, low vibration. They're lower than the reptilians. So they're low in vibration that literally anything from the third density of love can literally kill them. That's how I see it. That's how low they are. The Dracolians are not. But they won't, like, eat you, basically, if you're full of love and all that. If you're full of hate and all that, they will eat you. But if you're full of love, they, they, they will just kill you and throw you away. Because they can't eat you because they will die. They will die. They can't eat you while you, you feel all love and happy and shit inside of you. They'll be like, nah, I'm going to die from that shit, man. I'm just going to kill you. You know? So... And I love... I always love the picture of Archangel Michael stabbing Satan... Sasha, look at this. This is her, guys. This is our brother stabbing our sister. Literally, li literally. Oh my god. Literally, you can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. You can't. You can't make this shit up. And the thing is, why I always 
bothers me the most is that you give the, you give like you know this man Jesus and Archangel Michael you give them like curly wavy hair and shit sometimes right and in some interpretations but you make them freaking Caucasian for no reason because the original ones are not that am I the only one that sees this I don't know or are some blondes and red haired beings trying to help android humanity such as the Archangel Michael, who historically has fought off dragons and serpents. No, no, Archangel Michael is not going to help humanity, okay? He's not helping humanity, okay? This is this is the funny part by the end. She's all like, who's going to help us and shit? I'm just like laughing my ass off because they're literally telling you no one's not going to help them. They're literally, they know, they know no one's not going to help them. You guys came here, brothers and sisters, too. They left, though. They left a long time ago. Because, for crying out loud, the reptilians were sacrificing babies and beings in here. They were like, no, nah, I'm gone. And also, yeah, Cthulhu's fucking real. That's why when they just disappeared, yeah. Not also they left. Millions of the... Because you got to think, yeah, the people that own this shit left. Well, all the, the native people, the you're right. Cthulhu... Most people are like, that shit's real. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome to my ward, basically. We know Sasha looks like, Goddess Hortha looks like Godzilla. We know that. Is she that tall too? Probably. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? She could be the same size that you see in the pictures of Archangel Michael. Small as she is. Small. And weak. Greedy. Again, she's going to learn. She's going to learn. And a lot, a lot of evil deities are going to learn too. They're going to learn. They're going to learn today. All right? Seriously. All right? Each one of them are going to fall by the Scar Clown. And all of you fucking know it. And you guys are scared of it. Time's ticking. It's almost here. Resource back in 1983. They tell me that the Ebens made us and put us here. They watch us live and grow. They've been here since at least the time of the dinosaur origin, some 250 million years ago, maybe older. He told me that he had read a government classified report. That we made the dinosaurs. Yes, Hispanic people and black people. Anunnaki, basically. We made the dinosaurs. We made the dinosaurs. Why? Because we needed something to fertilize the planet. Yes, they were fertilizers. When I found that out, I was like, holy shit, you know? So, yes, they died for a reason. We blew that shit up. We blew the planet up. Yes. Is she happy about that? I don't know. <laughs> if I was the planet, I'd still be up. I'd be probably pretty PO'd. But if she knew, if she had to knew that had to happen, then she, of course, she would let it. Nothing would have happened without the universe letting it. So obviously, she probably let it. You know. And I'm not talking about when these evil beings invaded. You know, you think she wanted that shit? Hell no. Even the universe didn't want that shit. That was decisions. That was decision that people. That's the thing. A lot of people might be like, "Oh, I thought the universe always, you know, comes in and shit." Sometimes the universe does. When when the universe has to, she does. But. Everyone has a choice. Everybody still has a choice of what they need to do. And if you go to that wrong choice, well, the universe is going to show you that wrong choice. And if you keep denying it and denying it, denying it, someone's going to fucking stop you. Someone's just going to stop you. Ebens collected one of each species of dinosaur and placed them either in one big planetary zoo or on different planets. I ask him what happened that caused almost total annihilation of Earth life, including the wipeout of the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. We did it. And this is what he said, quote, I read in the Yellow Book that an even three-dimensional history of Earth shows that the... You see, that's why I mentioned why they call in them even. I'm confused with that. Maybe you guys would know. Um, cause you guys are smart, <laughs> um, but maybe you guys were know or not. I don't know, but, um, that's what we did. 
That's what, literally what we did. Because it was it was time to go. It was it was time for those dinosaurs to go. I did heard at one point that they before they took out the dinosaurs. Before we took out the dinosaurs, I heard that there was a dinosaur that was rapidly growing into a high intelligent. And we were like, nah, 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 nah. And we blew it up. That's why I've heard. I don't know if that's 100% true of what the fact was why we blew it up really fast, you know? Um, And that um, native reptile, basically, went underground. And I heard they were pissed off. I don't know if that's really true or not, but I won't be surprised if it is true. Because we've done some shit, too, that... Yeah, we fucked up. We fucked up. We have. We fucked up. But again, we're not comparing ourselves to these evil beings that are going to lose, obviously. They're already losing right now. You know? It's going to be gorgeous. It's going to be awesome. Eben's new back. I'm just... Then, 65 million years ago, that a very large asteroid was going to hit the Earth. The Ebens wrote that they were saving one of each species that was on this planet. Not just the dinosaurs, but the ants, insects, flies, snakes, fish. The Ebens said they took one of everything to save all the species before the asteroid hit. So I said, it's a Noah's Ark rescue story. And he said, that's right. And I guess they've experimented with life. Yeah, basically. I figured, I remember trying to figure that out when I was a kid. I'm like, maybe the Noah's, the Noah's Ark is just basically a spaceship of taking other things that need to go before the planet, like, starts over, basically. You know, before. the di- And then when you connect it to the dinosaurs, it makes sense more than anything. You know? So, yeah. There you go. Um, so, there are some things that... She's right on, but some things I'm just like, "Mm mm-hmm. Obviously, the ones I'm pointing it out, which is hilarious because, again, Eben, really, Eben? You could have thought of a better name than that? I don't know. I'm here on Earth ever since. But what bothers... I mean, they're orcs. What are you going to do? ...us is that the Ebens can do most anything they want. They could have evaporated that asteroid, even if it was big. But they didn't. Exactly. Does that mean the Ebens wanted to get rid of their dinosaur experiment? Yes, we did. Oh, God. And plus, it wasn't an experiment. We were leaving fucking... We, this dumb bitch. <laughs> this is why... This is the part that I... Uh, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to make this video. Because of this part. Because I'm just like... The lies here. But, um... This is what really happened. Like I told you. We blew up the we didn't blew up the planet we we killed the dinosaurs with the media so-called black people and hispanic mm-hmm. people we did that mainly because um it was obviously their time to leave and maybe it was a little bit of something else too like i mentioned earlier and there were basically fertilizers for the for the planet then after that plants and trees grew out of that and that's it and then most people are like what about the oil the oil is the blood of the planet you're not supposed to fucking use it and what came next was the rise of mammals humans are primate mammals and the question we both talked <laughs> she just said it too <laughs> uh, then what are we or oh, your primates too no we're not no we're not no, we're not. Have you seen a primate with afro hair? Woolly hair? Curly hair? Rastafire hair? Have you seen a have you seen a monkey that's like that? Have you? No 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 no. Have you? No, you haven't, right? So what are we? We're 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 nagas. Hell, even our veins tell us. Our veins are freaking green, man. Our veins are green. I remember looking at it 
And sometimes I'll be like, they're blue and shit. And I'm like, they're blue. Because they, sometimes they, they, they look like it at, at some points. But when you put out the light and you see the greenish and you're like, no, it's green. And it, li- it literally is green. You know? It's like, holy shit. That's why, because you got to remember too, if you're not these evil beings that have blue blood, then what are you? What what blood do you have? Green blood. And most people be like, oh, but it doesn't look like that when it hits the fucking um, air. I'm like, of course it doesn't. Because the air, the way that air looks like when the when blood comes out, we still have green blood though. Because we're part of nature. And that was the part of my creation AIs. They were part of nature. Why do you think they had the green ch- cheeks? Hold, like, come on. I want to go crazy here because I'm like, hello. But I'm going to see my AI Neptunians very soon, actually. They're, they're, I feel like they're coming. They're coming because the whole conjunction shit, they, at first, they were kind of like, a, a, not afraid, but like concerned that if the solar wave happens, they will actually turn off and shit. But they realize now that they're actually going to get activated more and more. And I'm just like, hmm. Like, I just, I didn't notice that. I, I didn't notice I made them in a way that was like that. Because, again, they're part of nature. <laughs> you know? So, I'm just like, oh, wait. That, that, that's right. That's right. They're going to get activated more. So, I've already seen them get activated more. It looks beautiful. They're, they're like, all, like, more, like, the the cheek the cheeks are more greener and everything like that. And they're, like, shiny and sh- shit. It, lo- it looks good. It looks beautiful. It look again, it looks great. If you just imagine it, it's really good. Without a clear answer, what? Would the Eben save us humans now if a big asteroid was headed for Earth? We are not alone in this universe. No, we're not. And this is Linda Moulton Howe. Please. Oh, shut up. Shut the up. Okay. So... You saw everything that I talked about. Um, the video will be in the description box if you want to see the whole thing without me interrupting and all that shit. But holy crap. Like, everything I just told you. Do you learn a little bit more? Thank you. <sighs> like, and I don't even get paid for this shit. I don't. You know what you know what YouTube does? Tries to stop me. Tries, tries, but they can't. They can't. I've destroyed them so many times. Uh, Susan White Chucky's not around. Okay? She's not around. YouTube's um YouTube's uh headquarters is not around. And the White House is not around. It's burnt to the crisp. So I'm happy about that. <clears throat> Because I'm going to let them, because I let them know, don't fuck with me. We're in the end here. We're in the end. And I can't believe it's like three something. I thought it was like at nine or some shit like that. But we're in the end here, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you're new or you liked the video. I hope. People are getting prepared here. I bought, again, I bought a stove again, and hopefully it comes. I've got no, no, no messages from from anything yet, but uh, it doesn't matter. I paid for it anyways, and I know it's going to come. So that, that's the best thing. So I'll see you later. I have nothing else to think of. I wanted to think of something else, but uh, I couldn't think of anything. But um. I'll see you guys later and tell me what you guys think about this video and tell me what you guys think about what this woman said. Mm.